Who's that? Commander Claw. Who's bad? Commander Claw. Welcome to episode number four of the 10 Minute Commander Guide series where we quickly describe one or two possibilities on how to build around your commander. Our goal is to share new deck ideas and discover cards in order to build your deck faster, more synergy, and have more fun. Meet the boss of all vampires. Anello the Painter is a 1-3 Grixis color commander with the abilities that favors card slingers. I mean, wait a minute, spell slingers. He has death touch and the first instant or sorcery you play has casualty 2. Casualty allows you to sacrifice a creature to copy a spell and choose new targets. Did you know? Mass removal effects rarely affect a spell singer player in a negative way. The top five cards for this deck will have a synergy to fuel the casualty mechanic, copy discard spells, and ultimately cast your hidden commander or big X spell. Feel free to pause the video to understand the card abilities while I talk about the cards. First up is Tiny Bones Trinket Thief. This mischievous skeleton is our hidden commander who slams opponents into purgatory by dealing 10 damage when they have zero cards in their hand without even tapping. Two is Waste Knot. Waste Knot is a powerhouse one card value engine that generates three things when your opponents discard specific cards. They are card draw, two two zombie tokens, and two black mana. Third is Fiery Emancipation. This is a fiery damage amplifier that triples the damage from any source you control. This card is like a billboard that says game over for opponents. Four is Open the Omen Pass, one of my favorite mana rituals in the game, which can only be used to cast creatures or enchantment spells. It's versatile to cast Agnello or Fiery Emancipation. Number five is Go Blank. It's just one of my many flexible discard spells with bonuses we suggest. Others are Arterial Flow, Hymns of Turok, and Awaken the Erstwhile. Your goal is to cast Anello to copy discard spells and finish opponents off with Tiny Bones' activated ability, or utilize large X spells. As you progress to this board state, you will need token generators. Generally, spells that create 1-1 creature tokens have a low mana cost, and we want to keep our mana curve low. Zerzoth Chaos Rider. This demented horse riding devil generates other devils when an opponent draws their first card on another player's turn. These 1-1 devils can ping any target when they die, so sacrifice them to the casualty mechanic and deal 1 damage. I know Anello says casualty too. We will get to that later. Young Pyromancer. Don't underestimate this young teenage pyromaniac who is perfect for early game token generation at 2 mana. Bitter Blossom, the most expensive 1-1 one, one creature token black staple in Magic the Gathering. Create 1-1 one, one flying fairy rogues at a high rate, and especially dangerous if it's left unchecked. Black Market Connections, have you heard of the Dark Web? It's private network on the internet allowing you to purchase anything you want. On this achievement, create any necessity, treasure tokens, creature, or card draw, all before a risky price. Rotten Reunion, wield one of the most abusive one black mana instance that has targeted graveyard hate, creates a 2-2 zombie, and has flashback. Startle, don't be shocked with a card that can give you a 2-2 zombie, draw a card, and possibly negate damage from a creature with power 2 or less. Cast your cheap buff equipments to increase the power of the 1-1s into 2-2s two to qualify for casualty 2. Well, why just buff? Several equipments can provide benefits, starting with Slavok Life Staff. Gain 3 life each time your equipped creature dies. With an equipped cost of 1, you will stay below the mana curve confidently. Team Pennant. Continue to take advantage of our 1 CMC equipment. We can make our tokens have plus 1 plus 1, Vigilance, and Trample. We can do all that since we will be attaching it to a creature token for casualty. Shuko and Bonesaw. Keep the fast pace with a 1 mana cost, but this is time. It's a 0 equipment cost to buff your creature. Cast and copy your discard spells. Targeting players who are threats or have too many cards in their hands or punish players who have a bad hand. First, we have Arterial Flow. Watch your opponent snarl in anguish when they have to discard four cards instead of two once you have use of the casualty from Anello. If you use the Black Market Connection to create a 3-2 Shapeshifter, it counts towards a vampire creature type and you can gain four life instead. Siphon Mind. This is one of the Black's premier card draw in the form of a discard mechanic. Copy this spell and make them discard two cards, which allows you to draw six cards if you have three opponents. Consult the Necrosages. We love flexibility. In cards for EDH because you never know what situation may arise. Draw four. Make your opponent, make your opponent discard four. Or a combination. Inscription of Ruin. Boost your deck's power level when you have options. For a total of seven mana, you can choose up to three options. Copy the spell from the casualty mechanic and give yourself six options. Gruesome Discovery. This card is underrated. If you copy this card with casualty, the morbid ability triggers allowing you to choose which cards your opponents discard. 
Now it's time to win with your hidden commander. Tiny Bones is a powerful draw engine and game finisher for a low CMC of two. You'll be eager to activate his drain life ability for only six mana when your opponents have no cards in their hands. Tiny Bones doesn't tap to activate this. Now imagine Fiery Emancipation is in play, which will trigger 30 damage each time his drain life ability is activated. Opponents who thought they are safe with high life totals can be sent to the loser column quickly. X spells and Sanguinate and Crackle with Power are two popular game ending X spells. They are affordable too. If you stay true to our discard strategy, you should be able to cast these X spells and Fiery Emancipation confidently. Finally, we have our honorable mentions. First up is Rakdos Return. This multicolored sorcery is the best of both worlds. Burn and discard. It can also target planeswalkers. Shattered Assumptions. This could be the most devastating discard card. So many overpowering cards are multicolored, and with Shattered Assumptions, you can discard all of them at once if they are in hand. Prismari Command, an Izzy Guild instant that provides mana, looting, destroy artifacts, and burn damage to any target. 